Hello everyone, welcome back. This is George again, and we're going to go ahead and do a demo of one of our coolest new products, which is uh, LTM VE, or Virtual Edition. So if you go to www.f5.com, you scroll down. In the bottom left-hand corner here, we have a little icon that says Download a Free Trial Edition of Big IP LTM Virtual Edition. Click through here, and you'll be presented with this page. There are two different versions of LTM VE. There's one for ESX and ESXi, and the other one for VMware Workstation. We're actually going to be using the second type today and running it under VMware Player, which also works. So we're going to go down here, we're going to log in with our F5 SSO credentials. And go down here, we're going to generate a registration key. And enter our little CAPTCHA. And we want one registration key. We should show, see that pop up in our inbox here in just a few moments, but while we're waiting on that, we'll go ahead and download the trial edition. So we're going to pull the one for VMware Workstation here, and click through, and that will start downloading. All right, so now we'll need to extract that zip file real quick. This will take just a few moments here. And while we're waiting, we just received our registration key, so we will pull that up. Go ahead and copy that over to our clipboard. Be just a few moments on extracting the VMware disk image for the virtual edition, and then we'll import it into VMware Player here. Now that we have our extracted disk image, we're going to go ahead and import that into our VMware Player and fire up our virtual machine. So. While the VM is spinning up here, we'll go ahead and talk about some of the cool things that we are able to do with Virtual Edition that make things a lot easier. So the most obvious use case for this is try before you buy, but even if you've already bought a 5 hardware, this gives you the ability to um, maybe set up a testing or a lab environment and test LTM on a small scale basis with your application. Here at F5, I do a lot of solutions development, so it allows me to consolidate a number of machines as well as F5 hardware onto my desktop, eliminating a lot of running and racking and whatnot, letting me do what I need to do in a much more controlled central environment, having console access to all these machines on my workstation itself. So after um, the virtual machine spins up here, we'll go ahead and get it licensed and we will start working with Virtual Edition. Alright, now that our uh, LTM Virtual Edition is completely booted, we can go ahead and go in and start configuring it. So we'll access it via 192.168.1.245. This is the default IP address is given to all big IPs upon fresh install. So log in admin admin. And we'll need to license it. So go back in, pull up the email that we had, and grab our registration key. Paste that in here, and we'll need to generate a dossier. So we're doing all this on a non-routable network inside of my workstation, so we'll need to submit the dossier manually to activate.f5.com. And within a few moments here, we'll get a EULA and our license file. So go back down here, paste in our license file, Click Next. And there we go. Now we can continue with the provisioning and the initial setup process. We don't have very many options since we're just running an LTM here. Um, go ahead and um, configure our host name. So we'll name this uh, test ltm ve onef 5com um, everything looks good there. Keep the root password as default and leave admin as admin. And 
And now we'll log back in with our new credentials. And continue our setup process. So we'll just go ahead and push finished here and we will leave, leave it as is and let you take it from here. That's all that's involved in getting an LTMVE online and ready to go ahead and start cooking up some iRules and start testing your software.